Zoe Quinn is back, and she has written a book, or rather, it's entirely possible that somebody else wrote it for her, about her fight against online abuse. Now, what is online abuse, at least in regards to Zoe Quinn, you might ask? Well, online abuse is when people find out that your one game that she made, she made one game, uh, it's a visual novel, most people wouldn't even consider it a game. But to promote this game, she was sleeping around with multiple um, game journalists, as far as I'm concerned. I would encourage you to check out Encyclopedia Dramatica and her article on it, because it's very, very thorough. But to put it in simplest terms, she slept with a lot of guys in order to promote her very subpar game. Now, it says here in the editorial reviews about the author, Zoe Quinn is one of the most critically acclaimed, widely recognized indie developers in the gaming industry and a leading voice in the fight against online abuse. She has testified about online abuse at the United Nations, and the issue continues to make headlines from features in tech publications to national op-eds about political discourse online. Quinn's most famous game, Depression Quest, this is the only game she ever made, has been played by over 2 million people. Prior to the Gamergate explosion, Quinn's work was praised in such outlets as Forbes, Wired, The Wall Street Journal, Kotaku, Paste, and Giant Bomb. Like I mentioned, she was sleeping with a lot of journalists, particularly to score her game high, even though the general consensus is that her game is a very buggy uh, walking simulator, like a visual novel with no visuals and lots of errors. Since August 2014, even more mainstream media has taken note, including MSNBC, The New Yorker, The New York Times, Vice, Playboy, Business Week, and Boing Boing, and the UK's BBC, Guardian, and Telepath, Telegraph. Fast Company recently named her the 17th most creative person in business for her work with Crash Override, and she appeared on Forbes 30 Under 30 list. Apparently, there's nothing more satisfying and empowering to a super feminist than to go sleep around with a bunch of guys in order to succeed, rather than succeeding on your own merits. It's funny to me how all of these mainstream outlets refuse to cover any of the controversy facing Zoe Quinn and only want to focus on the quote online abuse which really is just your average person telling her she sucks well also it turns out that she was sending messages to herself hateful messages in order to play the victim harder there's evidence of her in her own steam profile sending herself a nasty message online to try to because she forgot to log out but anyways don't let your guard down folks and if she tries to bang you just Insist that you work with Polygon or something. <laughs>